if that day you hate yeah. The little black boy with no swag You wore his shoes without no lease uh-huh. But now I'm getting P and getting fiends uh-huh. So you can keep your feet Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. Then we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, and terrible winters, cholera. I very more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle was take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace. And men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. Sneaking around and spying and secret missions. It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie. We got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> you're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. Let's see if we can put that new lasso of yours to good use. That ranch hand... some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret that sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches and steal a coin off of a dead man's eyes. 
Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the ride? But I know ride? we're only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. There's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. My family, I mean. We don't have a lot anymore. You have enough. It's one that gets so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make you poor. But it's great. And it's decent. There's no better night's sleep than after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired, then. Some deck must be shy of Joker, Miss McFarland. Well done, Mr. Marston. These are fine horses. Hey, Bonnie. Amos was saying some horses been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. Yeah. In many ways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. It's kind of painful, but she's never far from my thoughts. She was an orphan, too. Fell in the same bunch of reprobates I did. She did what she had to do to survive, same as I did. You can't wallow with the pigs without getting a little dirty. She's a good woman, a strong woman. That gang was the closest thing to family she ever had. Well, now she has her own family. 
Not right now, she doesn't. Come on. Paul, I'll be real happy if we can wrangle some horses. We've got bills stacked up like bales of hay. Well, we might as well strike while the iron's hot. I think I'm getting the hang of it. Looks like the ranch hand's up ahead.
Thanks for your help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us? Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. by and let him kill you.